Uh, I'm going to show you how to use a Ferroli clock. Um, it's an updated one from the version they used to use for a long time. Um, first thing we're going to do, uh, we're going to start from the very beginning. I'm going to try and do this in sections. How to set it up, how to do the times to come on and off, and what all the extra buttons actually mean. So we're going to start off with pressing the reset, just press it in and out, and that resets the actual clock. ASCO, doesn't, it's not a fault, doesn't mean it's not working. It actually means automatic summer, winter changeover. And it gives you, a, gives you an option. It's either on or it's actually off. So we, we, we'll normally have it on. So it goes plus is the hour and minus is the hour in the summer and the winter time. So now that we've done that, we want to set all the times, the date, the days so we're going to press this button if you notice it you try and press it and it won't work so you think it's broke again but just does, does actually say hold when you press it so we're going to pick keep our finger pressed in the screen a change and now we've got we're going to do the year the year at the moment is 2023 and obviously you've got the right button which will lower the year so we're going to increase here to 2023, then we'll press time, now we're going to do the month, it is actually the first month, but same again, left button to increase, right button to decrease, then we'll put the time again, and whatever's actually flashing, you can actually adjust, it's the 21st today, and obviously you just set up the date to see what you've got at the time, then we'll press the time again now you've got the actual time so you're gonna set the actual time it's a 24 hour clock as well and whatever the flashing you can adjust if you keep your finger pressed on there you'll obviously go quicker you press it one at a time press the time again that's the actual the day set and the time and the year that's the first part doing a reset and doing the actual times now we're going to go on to how to do all of the programs so we're going to press program same again if you press it it will keep coming up hold so that's exactly what we're going to do we're going to press and hold and then it changes to a sort of question do you want all week the weekend Monday to Friday or Saturday Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and so on so we're going to press this button on the left and well, we've got Monday to Friday we've got Saturday and Sunday and you've got Monday Tuesday all the way up to Sunday we're actually going to do the whole seven days then we'll press program again and the way this works is Four programs all together and then them four programs there's on and off for program one on and off for program two and so on so we want it to come on say 6 30 in the morning so we're going to press the left six press program again so the minutes flash get your finger press on the button do it to 6 30 We'll press program again and if you notice it's got program on you're going to press program now it goes to the off time so we'll say at past eight we want it to go off so we get at past eight press program keep our finger on the button so it goes faster press program again and it will go on to program two the on and off times for program two now we just want an on and off in the morning on and off in the afternoon evening so we'll say four o'clock in the afternoon so 24 hour clock as well don't forget press program so the other one flashes whatever's flashing you can adjust with the plus and minus let's say 430 
program and it will go to the off time in that program. So we're going to say we want it to go off at 10.30 at night. And obviously if you press that button, it will go backwards, which would be a lot quicker to get to 2200. Press program again, program again. We've got program three and that carries on through program four. Um, if you don't want it to have anything on there, you don't want it to come on, you can either leave it so there's no times or you can put a pretend time in. So 12 o'clock to 12 and then the off time will be 12 o'clock to 12 o'clock and that'll be off then. It won't even come on because it comes on when it's supposed to go off. We're going to leave them to blank. And now that's the program set up how for the border to come on and off throughout the actual day. Keep our finger pressed on the button. That's how, that's how it'll always look when you're not using anything. 23 minutes past 10. I've had it set to, set to go off at 10 o'clock. So that's actually saying it's actually off at the moment. That's how you do all the programs. Now we've got all the other extras that are on the clock as well. This button on here, it's an advanced and override. So what we're going to do, we're going to press this button. This is an advanced on. So it's making the boiler think it's the next available time for it to come on. Which in this case is about half past six in the morning. But it'll still go off at half past eight. If we press it again. This override on. This means it'll stop on for 24 hours until you physically turn it off. If we press it again. Override off. This means it's actually off completely it won't come on until you press the button again and then we'll go back to normal it will come on and off all the times that we've got set then we've got this button on the right which is the boost button so we'll press it once and it'll come up boost one which means it'll boost for one hour only and revert to back whatever it's set up to do we press boost again and we've got boost two that means it's boosted for two hours and it will go off and it will either stop off or it will be on because that's what it's time to do is to stop on. You press it again and it just goes back to normal. Obviously when you press this button and you see the green light that means it's actually on. If you've got the power light that means it's actually on. It will light up for about 30 seconds when you press the button. We'll press that and that's it that light's disappeared so it's actually off if you completely messed it up and you can't remember what what was going on restart the video get like a paper clip or a pen or something sharp press it in and let go it'll start from fresh and then you go all the way through the beginning of the video again that's how you do the New time clock on a Feroli boiler.